And now to the very latest on the crisis in Cuba and some new video on social media that many say shows government agents beating a teenager who was later reportedly killed. Local 10's Hatzel Vela has reaction from our exile community here. Listen, you can hear the crowds. This video that has now gone viral shows 17-year-old Sidan Batista Alvarez on the ground. <laughs> Witnesses say later shot to death by police. It happened in Santa Clara, in central Cuba last Friday. En la tarde del viernes primero de julio, on state-run media, the Cuban government told the country the shooting was in self-defense because the man was armed with a knife and machete and tried to attack one of the officers. The Cuban government goes on to describe the teen as violent with a criminal past. The teen's death has caused quite an uproar among Cubans at a time when the island is plagued with an economic crisis of historic proportions. It's a very, very uh, tense situation. Here in exile, Orlando Gutierrez of the Assembly of the Cuban Resistance says this is just one more example of the overall deep discontent and state of resistance on the island. Gutierrez also points to a troubling trend, a strange pattern since July 11th. His organization has been tracking it. 23 generals and colonels have died in less than a year, which he says could point to internal tensions. I believe the Castros have a long history of eliminating anyone they suspect of having the, uh, the least bit of discontent or dissent from their official policies. Just last week, Luis Alberto Rodriguez Lopez Calleja died of a heart attack. The 62-year-old was once married to Raul Castro's daughter and ran the military-owned companies that managed tourist destinations in Cuba. I have no way of objectively proving it, but these many deaths in so little time of key individuals to me is highly suspect. Up to this point, more than 500 Cubans have been sent to jail for participating in those historic protests. The year, one year anniversary happens on Monday. We're now reporting live from Miami. I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News. Hatsavala.